Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> um, this is a torch uh, that's in pieces, as you can see. Um, Ever ready branded. You can get them from all over the place. Uh, this is one that um, we've had for some time, and my missus uses it, she likes it, um, and it's basically stopped working. So she's asked me to, uh, to have a look at it. So I took it to bits, as you can see. Uh, I can't really find anything wrong with it as such. Basically, it's powered by four uh, AA batteries. Um, so that's giving us, what, six volts. Um, that go to this bank of LEDs. There's a torch switch here, and when you switch it on, stuff happens. Now you can see here, I switched it on and it's lit up. Yay! The trouble is, what tends to happen is quite often when you switch it on, you can see them flickering and then that happens and sometimes what happens is you switch it on they'll come on and then they'll go dim and go out so I know the LED panel is fine which suggests to me that the problem is either in the switch or in the wiring so what I'm going to do is have a little look at this see if I can figure out what's wrong with it and see if we can fix it so that's what we're going to do today so to aid us on our quest, I've got this. Um, I think you've seen me use this before. This is a, a variable voltage power supply. Basically, you have put 12 volts in. Um, there's a potentiometer here uh, and a voltmeter. You set the voltage you want, and then that voltage comes out through the bulldog clips here. So I'll plug this in to a handy 12 volt power supply, like that. and you can see the lights come on that shows you that there's power to it if I switch it on that light tells you that this is now live and if I turn that on uh, you can you, we can set the voltage I don't know if that's oh it will be able to see it yeah so I'm going to set this to about three volts to start with and I'll just pop the batteries out of this because we don't need those in at the moment these are brand new batteries obviously that was the first thing we tried was new batteries um, cleaned up all the terminals and everything else um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our bulldog clips oh, one on the live and one on the negative and that's lit up straight away even with three volts so that suggests to me that the problem is not one of power it's the problem with the power getting to the board so what I'll do is I will connect the positive to the positive side of the battery terminal I'll connect the negative to the negative side and see what happens okay so that is working Although one of the LEDs actually isn't, which is interesting. <laughs> Maybe it did blow, I think it's blown one of them. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I just touched the resistor and burnt my finger. Even that little resistor's getting hot. So, yeah. So it's definitely working. I'm just wondering if it's just like duff batteries. Because that's working fine. As I say, it's only running at three volts. Let's turn that up slightly. That's four volts. Ah, now you see, interestingly, that there was obviously not quite enough voltage because that LED that was out has now come on. That's five volts. That's very bright now. So this is definitely working. I got a sneaking suspicion 
this is just um, either a dirty contact or some duff batteries. Right, let's put some new batteries in it and see what that does. Right, so I've just been and got some batteries. Oh, get off. Get off. Let's get rid of this. Uh, right, that one goes on there, like that. That one goes... Like that. So negative, negative, positive and positive and oh stay there. Right, let's see if this works. I think these are just duff batteries. Fair enough, but I want to try something else. I want to try something else. Let's take these out for a second. Because what I want to do, let's just put those to one side. I've got here a 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery. And I want to see if it's enough to run this board. So let's pop that in there. This is not the ideal way to do it, but it will do for now. Pop that in there like that. And now, if I touch that onto the negative and that onto the positive, it lights up. So what I'm thinking I might do is actually change this. So instead of using these double A's, it's actually using a rechargeable battery because that will actually fit in there without any major modification. I don't actually need to, um, I don't need to change anything in here. Because basically all I need to do is uh, put a charging circuit in there, put the battery in there, and then clip the battery to these terminals and it will still run through the um, switch and then you can just plug it in and charge it up. Let's, let's give that a go and see if it works. Right, so I've got a few extra bits now. I've got uh, one of these um, 5 volt uh, USB charging circuits. You've seen me use these before. Uh, I've got the battery obviously and I've got a couple of uh, Bulldog clips. And what I'm going to do, it's not ideal to be honest, but I, I just want to do this temporarily to see how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the battery to the charging circuit uh, and then I'm going to have a couple of wires coming out to these bulldog clips and then I'm just going to clip these onto the battery terminals inside the uh, the torch and that way we can see how long this battery lasts for uh, and whether this is actually feasible as a, a way of charge of powering this thing so um, let's uh, let's hook this up and uh, and see where it leads us. Plug this in and make sure it works. Which it does, that's charging. That's good.
Right. So now, if we connect that to the switch we have light splendid so like I say for now I'm gonna leave this I'm just gonna kind of tuck it all in out the way um, and uh, if it works then I'll you know wire it in a bit more kind of permanently <laughs> so yeah but uh, see I could put the battery up here and the charging circuit out the side for example uh, and I could also put in um, uh, a switch like a two position switch so that you can switch it over to use these batteries or use this battery but let's see how long this one lasts first right so uh, we've had this in test uh, in in uh, where the missus uses it, so this is it's working. Uh, it's all good. She's happy with it. So what I'm going to do now is fit all the components properly. But I want to try something a little bit different with this. Um, see what I could do is just hook up the uh, connections permanently, uh, make a hole for the charging circuit, and that is it. We'd be done. But I actually want to do something a bit different. I want to use both power circuits. So I want to use the rechargeable battery and the batteries that were in it originally. Now, you might, you know, why would I do that? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, I want to have a situation where we're using the rechargeable battery most of the time, but if the rechargeable battery goes flat and we need to charge it, but we still want to use the light, we can use the batteries, uh, like the, the disposable batteries, as like a backup system. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use this switch. Now, you've seen me use these switches before. Normally I use these switches as a simple on-off switch. But this is actually an on-on switch. Now, what's an on-on switch? Well, simply put, it controls two circuits at once. So let me try and explain that. Uh, if you look at the, uh, at the switch here, it has three terminals. The middle terminal, I think it's like to point to that with, the middle terminal there is always live, if you like. And then you have a, a terminal on each side. Now, depending on where the switch is, determines which one of these two outer terminals is connected to the center terminal, if that makes sense. So where this switch is now, this connector and this connector are joined. If I switch the switch the other way, like that, now this end is connected to the middle. So depending on where you put the switch, depends which one of these two end terminals is connected to the middle. So what, how do we use that? Well, simply put, we connect the light board power lead to the middle. We then connect the live feed from the rechargeable battery to one side and the live feed from the uh, disposable batteries to the other side and so that way depending on which way the switch is what position it's in will determine where the power is coming from so this will not be used to turn the light on and off that will still be done by this switch on the light what this is doing is determining which power supply we're using I'll go into this a little bit more when I actually wire it up. But what we need to do now is take the light apart again and start putting everything in properly. Right, so now I've got this apart again, I can tell you a little bit more about how I'm going to do this. So basically what we'll do is we'll cut this wire here, which is the live feed to the internal battery pack. And we'll connect this end 
to the middle terminal on this get my pointer again sorry we'll connect this wire here from here to here to the middle the other end of it will be connected to one side so that will then allow these batteries to power this light board we will then take the live feed from the battery charger and connect it to the other side and then so that way if the switch is in that position then the light feed the light board will be powered by this battery so let's start cutting wires and joining things together uh, in fact the first thing I need to do before I do that is I need to fit the battery charger and the battery properly so I need to make some holes in the case uh, one for the charging circuit and one for the switch so I'll go and do that on the drill press and then we'll start fitting all these parts right so I've got everything pretty much prepared now so what I want to do first is fix the battery and the charging circuit into the case I'm just going to cut this label off because it's getting on my nerves So the charging circuit will go in there, the battery will go in next to it. So I'm going to hot glue them in. Like that. So that's those connected. Now one more thing I want to do uh, before I solder everything up is I want to bring the charge lights to the outside of the case so we can see what they're doing. So I've got a little piece of, of clear plastic here that I just cut off a, an old sprue from a, a kit. I always keep these, they're handy for this. And what I'm going to do, I've drilled a hole in the case for this to go through and what I need to do is basically hot glue this onto the LEDs right so a bit of hot glue in there and then like that that round a bit it's, that's a tricky thing to do because you have to do it quick before the glue dries and of course with it being hot glue it's hot and so you end up burning your fingers but uh, that's fine now we'll leave that like that for a minute until we can test it and what we want to do now is start soldering so we need this connector onto, if you remember, this one needs to go onto the middle of the switch because this one will always be live. So we'll just put that on there like that and solder it up. If you don't have one of these helping hands, by the way, get one, they're really useful. Okay, so let's solder that. A little bit of soldering paste. That. 
and I've got a little bit of heat shrink here that I'll put over it just to insulate it. Like that. Now we want the live wire from this battery onto the switch. Like that. And now we want the power from the internal batteries on the other side. This is starting to get a bit fiddly now, but uh, I don't want too much wire hanging around in here. So that's that. Now the last thing we need to do, wiring wise, is we need to connect the negative from uh, this battery to this battery so that we've got a common ground. So that basically needs to be soldered onto there. So I'm going to cut that down a little bit. And that needs to go onto there, like that, which is going to be interesting. There we go. So now this circuit should work, although I think the battery might be a bit flat, but if I turn that on, yeah, there you go. And then if I put the, uh, the normal batteries in and flick the switch the other way, you see that's gone off now because it's broken the circuit. Let's just make sure that switch is off. And now we want to fix the switch into here, which is going to be fun, but it needs to go in there. I've got a horrible suspicion this wire might be slightly too short. <laughs> I should have put the switch over here. No one, never mind. Uh, we might need to make this wire a little bit longer. Yeah, it's like five millimeters too short. <laughs> oh, well, never mind, we can soon fix that. I'll get a little bit of wire and put on there. Back in a sec. Right, so that's fixed that. I just cut the wire off and put a slightly longer piece on. <laughs> Idiot. Anyway, never mind. These things happen. Um, you know what they say, measure twice, cut once. Anyway, now we need to, as I said, put this switch in to here uh, which is interesting get in there I'm 
I should put the switch in before I put the battery in, I think, but never mind. There we go. Right. Now I need to make sure that I've got enough space to flick the switch from side to side. Now we'll hot glue that in. so I don't burn my fingers on the glue. There we go. Let that dry for a second. So the one problem with hot glue is uh, you have to kind of hold it while it sets up. It doesn't take long though. Uh, right now one more thing I need to do is cut this down so just basically get a pair of clippers and just snip it off flush with the surface like that and now if I plug in a USB cable you can see that's uh, lit up red and once the battery's charged and it turns blue you can see inside there how it's lit the whole thing up and uh, basically the, the light is diffused by the glue and into the plastic uh, sprue and then it comes out the end here so that will tell us uh, the charging status of the battery so that's that so now we can put all this back together and see if it works <laughs> what could possibly go wrong Right, so let's put these batteries in. Like that. And now, so that's now on the charging, the rechargeable battery. So that works. And if I switch it over, that's now on the internal batteries. And that works. And just to prove that's not a fluke, I'll actually uh, take these batteries back out or just take a couple of them out like that and now you can see that doesn't work but if I switch it over it does work so that's on the rechargeable and that's on the uh, that's on the disposables so I'll put that back in there and now Yay. So we'll leave this on charge for a little while and then we'll wrap this up. And here is the finished article. Um, it's not really a great deal to look at, I know, but uh, there you go. Um, this was uh, an interesting little project. Uh, wasn't really overly necessary what I did, but it's just a way to show you how you can uh, use, you know, different power sources to supply the same device uh, so now uh, when the missus uses this torch she can use it with the rechargeable battery and should that happen to go flat 
and she can needs to keep using the torch before she can uh, recharge it. She can just uh, switch it over and use the um, the internal batteries. So uh, yeah, I hope this was of interest to some of you. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.